Assalamualaikum student. So this is the last paragraph of that second story, the Who is the Greatest. As I told you in previous video, that the all the courtiers went to the Birbal for the help. So Birbal heard the story and told them not to worry. Then this is a further I am reading. Please. Pay attention. The next morning, the court was full. Everyone was curious to see what would happen next. Well, said the emperor, have you found a good answer to my question, or are you ready to leave the court forever? So next morning, what happened, children? The court was full with the courtiers. Akbar came. And he asked the courtiers, "So now tell me, what's that the one thing that God cannot do and I can do? If you not answer me, then get ready to leave the court forever." Just then, Birbal stepped forward and bowed low. Please don't be angry with those who think you are the greatest. There's certainly at least one thing that you can do that God Almighty cannot. So at that time, Birbal stepped in front of the king, and he bowed down and said, "That please don't get angry to them. There is one thing that you can do, but God Almighty cannot." Akbar looked at Birbal thoughtfully, and what is that one thing? He asked Birbal, "What is that one thing that I can do, but God cannot?" When you want to punish someone, you can banish that person. You can throw him out of your kingdom. But God's kingdom extends everywhere. The Almighty cannot banish anyone from His kingdom. So, what's that one thing that if king want to punish someone, he can throw out that person from his kingdom? But God cannot do that because all the kingdoms. Of Almighty God, He forgive the person. He not punish them. But Akbar, if he get angry, he punish the person. But God, Almighty God, forgive that person. Akbar's face was light up with a smile. That was very clever, Birbal, while showing how I have an advantage. Then Akbar heard that and he smiled and said, "Yes, this is one thing I can do, and this is one advantage for me also. You have also shown that God is greater. I believe you." Akbar was so pleased with the answer that he forgave the courtiers for their stupidity. After hearing this, he forgave all the courtiers. So, children. This is the end of this lesson, second chapter. Who is the creator? I hope you understood the two stories of Akbar and Birbal. So go to this chapter, mark out difficult words, learn by heart, and get prepared. Thank you.